Hello boys of class 5. Welcome you to the online class of BGST. I am Abhichitra sir. Today we will revise the chapter 9 that is our duties and responsibilities. From here today I will give you some competency based question answer which will be beneficiary for you. I hope all of you are doing fine and this will you write on your class or copies all the classes that I have done uh, for you I think all of you have uh, write that classes on your class or copies and remember you have a specific date for submission your class or and homework copies please mention your role name subject top of the copies and submit to the respected teachers okay boys so let's start today's session here is in CBQ what is family why will you help the elder people of family right four ways of helping elder people of family let us start the answer family is an organization where father mother daughter son husband and wife stay together and there are so many organization in a state family is the smallest one and here it is based on uh, members the members are including father mother daughter son and husband wife so that is family family is the basic unit to form society so that we learn so what we learn in family has an effect on society so a person uh, learn attitude then behavior from the family and then it ap they apply it on others in the society so if the family teaches good things then the person is become a good person in the society so it is very important for not only society for individual person to have a good family now let us know why we will help the older people as the elder people of family are respected to me and they are quite unable to do all work by themselves that's why I will help them to do work student and uh, look at in question it has mentioned why you so when it is mentioning you it should write in answer that it will be do, done by you that means I in question answer it should be mentioned I will do so that is why I have written as we know elder people are very respected person for us and uh, obviously they are uh, very uh, affect they have very affection to us so we will help them because sometimes they are unable to do all the works because of their age because when they become aged the person can't physically fit for all works for ways to help elder people in family number one help them to take medicines properly sometimes uh, elder people can forget which medicine should take in which time so we can help them to take medicines in timely or properly sometimes take them outside for sightseeing uh, all time stay in the home is uh, a boring task so if we take them outside for refreshment that should be better for them if they're unable to work by themselves then it will help to work some elder people are very weak or uh, physically not fit to work then we can give them support to work help them to take bath and food uh, here also some elder people are not uh, in a condition to take bath himself or herself then we can help them to take bath and obviously take to take food finally we should keep in mind that elder people of family had took care of us when we are unable to take care of ourselves so these elder people have take care of us when we were a child or we were very small 
younger then they didn't take a, a as a burden but they have taken care take care of us very nicely so it is our responsibility to take care of them and to help them now let us look another cbq what is accident why accident occurs in home write four ways to keep safe from accident at home in our life there are many accident occurs in our daily life at home street and workplace that means accident can occurs in any place it is not certain that it can be only in outside or it shouldn't be in home anyway accident can occurs now let us know what is accident carelessness or unexpectedly dangerous situation occurs in a sudden is known as accident that means which is uncertain uncertain and s suddenly happens and which is uh, very harmful for us that situation is known as accident like fire burning or um, electric shock that can happen at home as accident so accident generally held at home for carelessness so if it can be happen not only for one person or for only you it can happen for others also like if anyone uh, forgot to put off the gas stove and you don't know uh, and the fire is off but the gas is leakage then if you turn on any switch electric switch or just put on any fire then it can be a blast so carelessness can be done by any others for occurs accident four ways to keep safe from accident at home use safely the sharp items like knife and scissors we have to very careful to using sh sharp things like knife scissors and it should be far away from the child because they are not uh, understand what is the bad effect of these things and they can cut off their finger or hand any other places also so this is very important for us not to touch electric switch in bare feet or in wet hands so it's not wise to touch the electric switches in bare feet because it can make electric shock because it completes the circuit to go through uh, elec electricity through our body and if we got uh, if we catch electricity in wet hands that also fulfill the circuit and electricity will go through our bodies so that can be a major accident like electric shock or it can be burn also for electric electricity high power electricity write properly the names on the bottles of medicine or insecticides that means which one is medicine and which one is insecticides that should be labeled very clearly unless it can be another person who can take it uh, insecticides instead of medicine so it is very dangerous so we should labeling the bottles of medicines or insecticides properly be aware of using fire so we should keep in concern that how to use fire and uh, after using it we should put off it by following some safety rules we can keep ourselves safe from big accidents actually if we maintain some s small rules then it can be very safe life for all the members of family now let us look the last cbq from this topic and that is what is needed to manage bend state why it is necessary to pay taxes regularly right for good effects of paying taxes regularly so let us at first know in the starting of the question state is a big organization which regulates us actually we are regulated by the state so towards it we have some responsibilities to do so as state is regulates us so we have also some words to 
do for it one of them is paying tax to manage when the state money is needed for all purpose to run state to, um, to buy food for, from other countries or giving salaries to employees of government institutions state needs some money state needs money so money is the main thing which ma make management of all purpose generally to give many facilities to citizens and to management many institutions of state regular tax pay is necessary so by paying this tax we are with being a part of management of state and if all the citizens are paying tax regularly then facilities of citizens should be available from the state for good effects of paying taxes regularly are it has to run many institutions of state so if we pay tax regularly then many government institutions should run properly and they can do their work properly ensure many facilities to citizens facilities like other countries have for their citizens not available still in bangladesh but if all the citizens of bangladesh pay tax regularly and properly then in our country it is also possible to ensure facilities for the citizens regular taxpayer can be an ideal citizen if a person can pay regular tax then he would be an ideal citizen that means he can have and enjoy the city um, facilities of state to run many development works of state to develop the state that means development works run on these taxes to develop the state like in our country there are so development works like on roads highways and bridges are made and then communication systems so these works are done as a result of paying tax by the citizens regular tax pay can ensure citizens a good and safe life with many facilities so it is very important for state as well as the citizens so boys these are the cbq from these chapters i hope this will help you and in the next section we will uh, do the fill in the blanks matching and some short question answer from the topics till then stay fine and it's bye from me